<laughs> Kim, who's the AFC East team to beat? Oh, who's the division champs? It's the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, it's still the Buffalo Bills. Um, the division still goes through Orchard Park. Um, to say anyone else in this division will be crazy, considering that the Bills two weeks ago wa wallop the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins, who, whose offense was so great, so great. And yet they went to Buffalo and um, Josh Allen and the team took care of right. business. So I would think to say anything other than the Bills would just be downright ludicrous, especially when you consider the score. What was it, Stephen? Yeah, 48, 48 to 20. 20? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, anything else would just no, be listen, wild. Listen, if it's Sunday, Al Pacino told you that. LL Cool J told you that. <laughs> told you that. Sick Sick Fox told you that. Listen, the six inches in front of your face, here's the deal. It was a bad afternoon for the Miami Dolphins, no doubt about it. But I still think the Miami Dolphins are the team to be in the AFC East. I still believe that. You know, when you it, one of the things that I think we have to pay attention to, the Bills clearly have the talent. There's no doubt about it. But you know what I've been while I was watching the other day? They playing in London, they lost the game in Jacksonville. I watched the dissension when things go bad. It gets tight. And there's a lot of pointing fingers when you look at the Buffalo Bills. I'm very serious about that. I don't think you can ignore that. And I think when you look at them, yeah, Dolphins had a bad night, but the speed, the quickness, what Tyreek Hill can do, what Jalen Waddle could do, what Tua Tungvaloa could do. I remember how competitive Miami was with Buffalo last year. Buffalo got them this go round. Fair enough. You beat Denver 50, 70 to 20. You're sitting up there feeling yourself, and then you got a game coming up against the Buffalo Bills, and you just weren't ready to play. There's no other way to slice it. We get all of that on the road in Buffalo. Many people have lost on the road in Buffalo. But let's see what happens when they roll over the when they roll down south near South Beach, and they go up against the Miami Dolphins then. Let's see what happens then. And then you go and you lose to Jacksonville after losing the open of the Jets. We can't look at a team that's got the Jets in Jacksonville on their, on their loss column for the season and definitively say, yo, they're going to be the team to beat. They're going to be all right. If you could say they're going to be all right, I could say the Miami Dolphins are going to be all right, and that's what I'm going to do. Good job, Kimberly. You're a thousand percent right. It's what? Buffalo. You're he right. doesn't know what he's talking mm -hmm. about. Whatever. Buffalo Wild. deserves a pass mm -hmm. against Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. The game is in London. Jacksonville's been sitting there, and Buffalo's lost a million guys on defense, yep. mm -hmm. including Milano, who broke his leg early yes, in the game. Yes, he did. He did. So we got to give him a little break with the Jacksonville game. Okay. They got well, uh, uh, the leg going to be here by the time the playoffs will come. No, he's not going to play. He's not going to be back. Right? No, what about the other injuries? Are they, the you sure they're going to be back? You sure they're going to be back? No, he's out. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And remember, maybe NFL can flex the giant Carolina game off the Sunday night game and put. Buffalo, Miami, in week 18. To, I might need to call Because Goodell that's the last that. game of the year. you know I that? I need to call Goodell about that. Uh, uh, Buffalo, I, I, make a phone call. Need, get him in here and we can ask him. This is right. How about We. That's right. That's right. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> not going to work. Man, that was funny. That's that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Buff, do you get the we yes. thing? Oh, of course. I get it. Buffalo, Miami. <laughs> yes. That was funny. I think Buffalo is still the best. <laughs> I can't stop. What is happening? I don't know why I said that. I because can't. Roger Goodell came in for an interview. And I, they threw and, me out of the room. And Mad Dog was here, and Stephen A. did all the questions. It's, it's, I'm it's, just kidding. And, and it's going to happen again. Yes. It's going to happen again. Because Adam Silver's coming. <laughs> oh, I'm out of here for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in the river for that one. <laughs> exactly. Oh, no, I got no chance. No, no, no. I'm about to go to Brooklyn. That's right. <laughs> get a boat ride. Get a boat ride. Oh, no. the You're on a boat. Get What's in that stupid outfit? I'll get it. I'll go wear the boat. Yo, we got Mad Dog in here. Anyway, did you have some gummies this morning? No, I wish I did. I, <laughs> you were <laughs> you literally. I was sitting in that chat for two and a half hours. Right now. I needed a gummy, man. It's the worst way. It is wrong on Wednesday. Oh, I didn't know. What is this? Tearing up. Oh, I needed that gummy. Please, I need a tissue. Oh, may I? Oh, God, I'm coming. Get a tissue. Please, I needed one. Oh, God. First of all, okay. And that dopey ride with the bumps, and he was in a grouchy mood. No, 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 no. Oh, he was nasty no, no, with no. a poor Nikki. Anyway, you know what I do when he's thing. like that? I just ignore him. That's the best thing I to do. I can't because he's still theoretically even, my boss. So I got to He's not your boss. He's not my boss. He's not your boss. And you just ignore him. And then he gets over it. Kim's right. <laughs> Buffalo. Am I right? Buffalo. Listen, Stephen I'm A said, Stephen A said, we got, we got to see. Maybe watch what happens when, oh, the Dolphin, the, the Buffalo Bills go down to South Beach. First of all, we have seen last year in the playoffs, what happened? In Buffalo, with Skylar Thompson as your quarterback. Oh, so we Was saw that not true? Okay, fair. When you went in Miami last year, what happened? Did you win that game? Yeah. Did Miami win that game? 
You did they win that game? Yes or no? Yes or no? Did they win again? You brought it up. I didn't bring it up. You brought it up. Because did Miami you, Dolphins win the game saying, in Miami last saying, year? Based off a of track record, what, what I've seen is the AFC East has had to go through Orchard Park, right? Mm -hmm. You telling me, oh, well, the Dolphins put up points so clearly. What you really, the really team. need to say, and what you really, really, what need, to really, really need to be doing, to be doing? Is saying Stephen A. Mm. Instead of ESPN sending me to Cleveland, could they send me to South Beach for that game? That's what you should. You know what? Be I do actually want to address. That's what you should, there we, uh, there, there, Seth, should be. Seth? Okay, I get, I get it. I get it. Oh yeah. By the way, by the way, um, you you, you need Seth. You talk about Seth Markman. Seth Markman. Right? I just um, want to know: Can I go somewhere I, I, else besides I, Cleveland? I don't That's know. All. I don't know if you know this, but Seth and I are gonna be together. In, in, in L.A. Monday. <laughs> I mean, drop I, a note I, to I, him because I don't need a note. I'm gonna be with him. You know? At this point, I need to get a condo in Cleveland or what? I don't know. Got you. I'm just saying. But yeah, the answer is Buffalo. So Stephen A., who's a better chance to win the Super Bowl, the Detroit Lions or your Dallas Cowboys? I'm gonna have to say the Dallas Cowboys. I'm gonna have to say the Dallas Cowboys. Now, in no way. Am I saying the Dallas Cowboys are going to win the damn Super Bowl? I'm certainly not saying that. I'm just saying they got a better chance of pulling it off than the Detroit Lions at this particular moment in time. Because I think that the Detroit Lions are relatively youthful. I'm not, I've never been sold on Jared Goff, even though I'll give him credit where credit is due. But the rest of their squad, even Dan Campbell, is young as a coach. I love the job that he has done. I love the metamorphosis that has taken place within their culture. I give them a lot of credit for that. I see guys, they got a defense now. I get that. And they got some ballers. But I do think youth comes into play, particularly when you're going up against a Dan Quinn-led defense, when you're sitting there and you're looking at Dallas's defense and what it brings to the table, the level of competitions that's sifting through the NFC in San Francisco with Philadelphia as well. Dallas is more familiar with San Francisco. Philadelphia is more, uh, is, is, uh, Dallas is more familiar with Philadelphia, obviously. Detroit, not necessarily so. So it's not about Dallas and Detroit going heads up because I think Detroit can beat them. I'm saying that when you look at the personnel on both sides of the ball, when you look at the personnel throughout the NFC Conference, thinking about Philly and San Francisco being an impediments to anybody else's success, I think Dallas would have a better chance against those teams than Detroit would in a playoff game, not regular season. That's where I'm coming from with it. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go say that Detroit does, and I'm going to say it really from just a mathematical standpoint. If Detroit wins the division, make the playoffs, which they should do, they'll be a three seed. If Dallas doesn't win the division, which I don't think they will, they're a five seed. What's the three seed mean to the five seed? Three seed gets a home playoff game against yeah. the worst team, and the five seed's on the road. Yeah, so they get a playoff game at home, Dallas gets a playoff game on the road. Now, listen, Dallas is going to win the NFC South game, but still, they get a home playoff game and Dallas doesn't. Number two, Detroit doesn't have any scar tissue. Okay. Dallas has scar tissue. Mm -hmm. Can't beat the 49ers. Prescott in a playoff game. They never beat Philly. Not going to have won the division. Detroit's going to be fresh and uh, fresh as a daisy going into the playoffs. Nothing to lose. What a great year. Just in the playoffs is a tremendous win for the franchise. So they will be loosey-goosey, and the Cowboys will be tight, I would think, trying to prove that finally this is the year they get to a championship game and or a Super Bowl. So I think Detroit, for those two reasons, no scar tissue, get a home playoff game if they win a division, I think they have better odds than Dallas does. Go ahead. Go ahead, Swaggo. I, I, I believe, I'm, I'm with Mad Dog with the Lions, and think about Stephen A., I understand what you're saying about, I, I guess, the experience is what you were leaning at. But you think about this Detroit team now. They went to Lambeau and beat Green Bay and knocked them out of the playoffs and had nothing to play for. I'll play them. First week of the season, they went and beat Kansas City in KC. That's still a big deal. I know it's week one, and I know who was out of the game before a team that's trying to establish themselves. When a team is under, like, low man, you got to go out and win that game. The other thing is, dude, from a football context, like this Detroit Lions team, one, they're healthier. We don't know what Dallas offensive line is going to be week in and week out. Also, Jared Goff has been to a Super Bowl. Let's not forget that. He's been there before. We've seen him play at a very high level. He played at a very high level last year. I think this skill position group, especially getting Jamison Williams back, Laporta is looking like one of them young stud tight ends. Amora St. Brown was actually injured, and they still were able to get a win. This Detroit Lions team is for real now. This ain't this. This is no longer about talking about they're they're going to be good or 
you know, watch out for the Lions. Teams better start taking them seriously, and I think they are. Because when you play Detroit, you in for a dogfight. And they play any type of football you want to play. If you want to play a physical game, they will run it. They will play defense at a very high level. They got, a, I think, a young, budding, prolific edge rusher in Aiden Hutchinson. But this team is complete now. Now, they're, they're as good as you can get when it comes to assembling talent, letting it grow, letting it well, age, and becoming what they are right now. I, want to chime I would take the Lions. Hold on for a second, guys. I want to say this. I get where y'all coming from, and the scar tissue point is definitely on point, along with the fact that they'd be division winners as opposed to a wild card like Dallas would be because they ain't beating the Eagles for the NFC East crown. But I will say this to you. Since week nine of last year, the Lions do have the third best record, tied with the Eagles for the third best record in the National Football League. Only the 49ers are 14-0 and the Chiefs are 13-2 and have a better record, okay? I get that part. But these Lions, yo, y'all, they got one playoff victory since 1957. 1957. Now, I understand that has nothing to do with these guys in a lot of people's eyes, but Swaggo, you know this better than me and Doggy because you were on the field. When you are experiencing an, an, an entirely new and foreign environment to yourself, and that environment is playoff football, I'm sorry. I got to look at you uh, going up against a quality team like a San Francisco, a quality team like the Philadelphia Eagles who were just in the Super Bowl, and I got to say to myself, you getting to the playoffs, having won playoff victory since 1957? You haven't won a playoff victory in 30 years? Do you have any idea how big that moment is going to be when they finally get to the postseason and you're supposed to be yeah. somebody that's been there? I just find that hard. I, just, I don't feel like the so history hard. matters at all. As far as this team, it's a new team, it's a new coach, it's a new day. Yes, you could argue they, they don't have the playoff experience recently, okay. but the history doesn't well, matter. Well, I will tell you this. Sitting courtside or sitting, uh, uh, sitting on, uh, standing on the field or sitting in the press box or being in locker rooms, not to say that you haven't been because I know you have, but doing this stuff for the last 30 years, I can tell you that players, including people like Swagoo, have highlighted for me how the moment matters.